Hello everyone and welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we are back for the Walking Dead Season 1 finale episode 6 and we're here to give our final thoughts and my full rating of what I thought of Season 1. If you haven't checked it out, go check it out on Disney Plus and of course hit that subscribe button, leave a like and spoilers ahead. And I'll probably talk about a little bit of what I expect from Season 2 but we'll jump into that anyway. Enjoy. So season one, episode one was actually a huge, you know, episode. Very tense, you know, the opening with Jenna lets all the survivors in. And this whole episode, just the clock is just consistently in the background. If you're a viewer, you would have noticed it immediately. If you're obviously the characters, it's not noticed till there's like an hour or two left. It was great to see the characters you know, celebrating and drinking and having fun and enjoyment, but also like Rick learning, um, you know, wanting to learn about the virus, the T-virus, and uh, him being drunk and opening up to Jenna. Um, obviously, the thing that's obviously whispering Rick's ear is something I know because obviously if you watch the, the finale to season two, you'll obviously know that soon, but obviously it is simply this. We're all infected, which I think is such a huge thing. So the entire time Jenna knew uh, what it was, and the fact he passed that on to Rick, he passed it, that responsibility on to Rick to tell other people. I thought that was pretty huge. Uh, so if you get scratched or you're bitten, it's not just a bite, it's your exposure and the overheating, and that's just how it is. Um, and I think the finale was handled so well, and it was a great closure to what we experienced this season. The death of Jim, well, not death, you know, he was tied to a tree. Jacqueline and Jenna both giving up. Um, you know, Dale in a sense, saving Andrea from suicide. Uh, an explosion, I think, was one of the biggest explosions in Walking Dead history. The scale of it just blowing up was incredible. You know, we got to see so many different characters and directions this season, and I think it ended on a high. And you're just opening yourself to a world of possibilities. Where are you going next? What can they do next? What characters can you introduce? I think it was done very well. Um, and overall, I think season one definitely gets at the, about um, about an eight out of ten. Um, you know, there's some poor characters in there. There was a couple of poor moments. I don't think they explored Mill's character enough. I think Andrew's character should have died over Amy. Um you know, Morales leaving was random. Uh, I think Rick and Shane should have had more scenes together. The fact that Shane po pointed his gun at Rick in one of the episodes was a bit stupid and random. The scene in this episode where Shane attempts to, um, you know, put himself on Laurie was a bit... They just Some of the scenes just seem really random and out of place. It's like they sort of just made Shane a villain immediately and they just were like, yo... Shane's the villain. Season one, season two, that's what we're going to do. But uh, yeah, I think it did a very good job, the season one, of introducing us to some very iconic characters. Daryl, your Glenn, your Rick, um, your Carl, your T-Dog, your Laurie. Obviously, a few other characters like Dale and Andrea. Again, I, I, Shane is a fantastic character. Rick was just so good. Daryl's development this season was brilliant, as well as Glenn's from being this runner to being able to just chill in the final episode and get his moment of just thinking, I'm not going to die for a change. Until the point of, you know, where Carol's like, oh, I have a grenade in my bag. Why is you only just telling me now? <laughs> but, um... Yeah, a well-crafted first season, and I'm not surprised it's on season 11 now. Very well-deserved and justifiable, and you're going to see some really cool characters growing. Some of the most established characters in TV history, Carol, Daryl, Rick, just three to name. But it was a fantastic series that you need to go and check out for yourself. As I said, on Disney+, Plus, only six episodes, but we double plus one to 13 episodes in the next season. Highlight of the season... 
was the explosion. The explosion was just huge. The scale of that, to pull something like that off in your first season was probably the reason why they got a second season. Um, and yeah, there was nothing more I could have added, nothing less, you know, it did everything you wanted to, walkers, running, scary moments, sad moments, happy moments, and a well um, put together finale that left you on a cliffhanger of thinking where they're going next. So, yeah, I was satisfied with Walking Dead episode six um, and season one in general. So go check it out for yourself if you are hardcore walking dead fan stick with it watch fear of the walking dead watch worlds beyond and await isle of the dead tales of the walking dead and carol and daryl spin off show and if you're an even bigger fan check out the telltale games and the comic books as well just for more content more stories and much much more i will catch you in the next ward for season two episode ward and plenty more where that came from take care now goodbye